So I have become a nag on our board to make sure that this new master plan gets at least what public participation we had before and hopefully a lot more okay. because okay. this is the citizens. I'm, I'm going to interrupt you because I have a time limit here and I want to make sure I get most of my questions done. Uh, also, the Parks and Rec has a very instrumental role in the entire process. When we did the master plan in 2004 as well as the master plan that we're going to fix and do now. Is that correct? That is absolutely true. Okay. All the funds that were raised to finance the master plan were private dollars. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Now, when we adopted the master plan, that was done by council action in 2004, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, and that will have to be done when this master plan is done as well. All right. Okay. Now, uh, relative to any projects that you do in the park, that's a function of a contract that the Memorial Park Conservancy has with the City of Houston, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and identified in that contract of every one of the projects that we're going to be doing over the life of the contract, is that correct? That's correct. And, and while we're designing the projects and while we're constructing the projects, what's the role of the City of Houston? City of Houston monitors absolutely everything <coughs> we do. We do not cut down a tree, uh, build a bike rack. We do not do anything that the city doesn't approve. Thank you, Coach. One final question. In terms of the master plan, all right, now the master plan is obviously a park in an urban setting that really provides park use for over 4 million people annually. But there is a conservation aspect of the park that you and a lot of your board members are interested in maintaining. Is that correct? That is my really my first concern is to make sure that we are having recreational opportunities, but that we are not losing the natural features of the park that make Memorial Park unique. Okay, and over the life of your membership on the conservancy, has it not been a problem of raising <coughs> dollars to do improvements in conservation in the park? Yeah, yes. Yes. And do you Absolutely. see this as an opportunity for us to leverage funds coming in from the tourists with future private dollars as well? I think so. I, you know, it, we will be able to say we're, it, particularly on infrastructure projects like water lines and sewer lines and roads, <coughs> it's really hard to get private dollars for that. And we have a lot of needs in that regard. And so that I'm hopeful that the tourist money will pay for things like that that we could really never raise private dollars. One final question. Your role right now on the board as a life member is just because you are a life member, but you also are chairman of the conservation committee as part of the BC, is that correct? That's correct. And what is the role of that conservation committee? Well, it's to discuss conservation programs, what we hope to see in terms of conservation in the park. Uh, recommend projects to the board itself for conservation. We have been mostly involved with reforestation for the past two years. Thank you, Claire. Thank you for everything you've been doing. Chair, Ms. Kessler, Thank you, Mayor. Uh, well, Claire, uh, Mr. Costello has uh, asked all the hard questions, uh, but uh, as, as both of y'all know, I served on the board during the same time much the same time that Mr. Costello did, and I just wanted to recognize you for being very instrumental in raising the, the first uh, money for the master plan. I think it was around five hundred thousand dollars, as I recall, that you did, and uh, also for the for the members of the public here to just recognize what you've always say about said about how militant you are in, in protecting the park from a conservation standpoint. I know the mayor mentioned that we can't use the park for anything other than park purposes, but there are a lot of arguments about what is a valid park purpose. I guess you could argue that the Astrodome might have been a valid purpose, but you know, there, there are issues like sequestering particular parts of the park for different kinds of activities and all sorts of little decisions that come up because it is a very desirable place. And I've watched you in action and I know that you, um, you know, that, that you're very thoughtful about that and uh, also uh, do, do a great job on that and uh, that you do value uh, public input and seek public input and this is a continuing process and you were talking about water lines and streets and we're, we're talking about that in terms of preserving what we have out there. We're not going to develop anything, right? I, I guess we probably need an irrigation system, I guess, what we found out from, from the drought that we have or at least some some semblance of one so that we can water the trees uh, if we have another problem like that. That's the kind of infrastructure you're talking about. Yes, we, what we discovered is there's no water main so we're in the central part of Memorial Park. So everybody's going to water the trees and we're going, what would, um, you know, uh, it, it probably should have been put in a long time ago. But we would 
also like to add a, a real bathroom on the running trail, that sort of thing, so that we don't have sort of quarter cans staged around. If we could put actual big real bathrooms, those kind of developments would be made possible by a um, um, water line. The, the Conservancy does propose a capital campaign of its own, right, in addition to any money that might be spent by the city or the Turks? The, the, the Conservancy will raise private funds for the master plan with the help of the Turks, and then for the implementation of the master plan, the Conservancy will be raising lots of money from private sources, and then hopefully match that with public dollars from the Turks. And, and there is a pretty regular turnover on the board members, right? The board members are in three-year terms. Some of them serve three years. Some terms six, serve six years. But uh, except for the four life members, everybody else has to get off after six years. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you've done. <laughs>